is, especially with my hedge fund clients, is do I need to register as an investment advisor? And there's two parallels to that, one being registration with the SEC, one being registration with the individual state. So let's just focus on, on the SEC. And generally speaking, an investment advisor is somebody who engages in the practice for a fee of advising as to the value of security. So when you're talking about a hedge fund, a hedge fund manager, generally speaking, you fall into that category or that definition, the key word, the operative word being securities, but I'll get right back to that. So there's, there's three general uh, parameters that would require registration um, with the SEC as an investment advisor. One is regulatory assets under management in excess of 150 million. That's an absolute requirement. Two is regulatory assets under management of 100 million and some of your clients, some, not all, some of your clients are not hedge funds or private equity funds. And three, uh, you have regulatory assets under management of 25 million or less. Some of your clients are not hedge funds or private equity funds. And you live in a state where invest, uh, investor uh, advisor registration is not required. Or you live in a state, a state where it's required but not required by examination. So the only two states there are Wyoming and New York. So you've got these three subcategories. The fourth is whether you generally hold yourself out to be an investment advisor, which which is sort of a catch-all. But you have these three, three thresholds, 150, 100, 25 million. So for your startup funds, generally speaking, you're under 25 million. There's no compulsory um, uh, registration as an investment advisor, and you don't have to do it. And depending on what state you're doing it in, you, you definitely don't have to do it. When you get up to 100 million and you have non-hedge fund or private equity clients, then it becomes required. So generally speaking, in that in that range up to 100 million, you're pretty much safe. Now in the crypto space, it's odd because when you want to talk about <clears throat> you know, what in a, the definition by the SEC's uh, own accord, what the definition of investor and investment advisor is, it's someone who opines or advises as to the value of securities, right? And so the question becomes, well, if I'm advising as to the value of Bitcoin, am I acting as an investment advisor? Well, the answer would be technically no, because Bitcoin is deemed to be a commodity, and that would trigger a whole slew of laws under the Commodities Act, but and, and the NFA regulation, but it wouldn't necessarily trigger any investment advisor act. And so then the question becomes too, what if I'm advising as to Ethereum? What I'm, if I'm advising as to Ripple? What I'm advising to Neo or any of these esoteric sort of currency type uh, cryptocurrencies, which really haven't been classified? So, you know, depending on the composition of the fund that you have, the question becomes whether you're acting as an investment advisor to begin with and whether registration is even really a question because the products you're dealing with aren't securities, right? And so that's where this sort of gray area lies. But, you know, the, the bright line, black line sort of rules would be the thresholds of 25 million, 100 million, 150 million um, as it relates to regulated assets under management. So assets not including debt or contingent liabilities that offset that. So uh, hit me up if you have any questions about investment advisor registration or fund formation. AT at Tracy, T-R-A-C-Y firm.com, bitcoin-lawyer.org. I'm Adam Tracy. I'll talk to you soon.